Hey, what's going on guys? I am Jake from todaysiphone.com and this week some stuff happened. Let's talk about it. Okay, so to start off this week, Sprint users, don't lose hope. Uh, the VP of product development at Sprint released a statement saying that, that the company is aware that a small number of users are experiencing data speed issues and they are looking into it. Unfortunately, there's nothing of significance to report yet, but hopefully that'll change pretty soon. If you aren't aware of the issue, well, that's probably a good thing, but a lot of customers are. Apparently, a lot of iPhone Sprint customers are experiencing like drastically low data speeds, like way lower than they should be. And, um, you know, they don't really know the cause yet. It could, hopefully, it's not a hardware problem. It's, it could be a software problem. It could be a network problem. So they're, I'm sure they're looking into all three of those possibilities and they're going to try to find a solution. Now, speaking of iPhone issues that are being looked into but don't really have a solution yet, wow, that is a cheery topic. Uh, Apple have made a statement saying that they do acknowledge the fact that there is, seems to be some bug affecting battery life for certain users and they are hoping to release a software update in the next couple weeks that fixes the issue. According to a statement made to All Things D, a small number of users are experiencing lower than expected battery life on iOS 5 devices. Now since then, iOS 5.0.1 Beta 1 and iOS 5.0.1 Beta 2 have been released to um, find a solution to this problem. Some of the things this update is supposed to fix, obviously the battery issues, and then there's also a bug with documents in the cloud, and then Australian users are having difficulty with the voice recognition when they're dictating like a text or something. So hopefully those and a couple other things will be improved upon when iOS 5.0.1 goes live in a couple weeks. Gah, there's issues with the Sprint iPhone 4S and the battery on the iPhone 4S. It's almost like every new thing that they marketed is going wrong. Good thing there was nothing wrong with Siri this week. Oh. Ha ha ha, that was sarcasm. Uh, Siri was experiencing a couple outages in the US this week. It seems like, um, I mean, I don't really know what happened, but users across the country were getting, uh, there's a problem, I can't connect, blah blah blah. And, you know, that, that's too bad. <laughs> the service does seem to be back up and running now, and keep in mind that Apple said that it is still in a beta. With something new like this that relies so heavily on Apple servers, you know, for it to go down once in a while, for a little while, one day or so, it's not the biggest deal in the world, and it's not, like, out of the blue. Hopefully Apple gets their stuff together and they don't have, like, a Blackberry moment <laughs> where it's down for, like, weeks or days or whatever. Blackberry. Um... What was I saying? Yes, Siri. It was down. It's back up now. Do you guys have any problems with Siri this week? Or with your battery? Or with your network? Um, I'm running iOS 5 on my iPhone 4 on AT&T, and I'm not experiencing any of these issues, thankfully. My battery seems to be about just as good as it was with iOS 4, and um, AT&T has not sucked any more than it usually sucks. So, that's something. Also, I don't have Siri, so... Let me know how your week with the iPhone was down in the comment section below. Uh, seems like a lot of users are having a pretty bad week. Hopefully next week is better. Okay, and finally, let's end on a high note with some iPad 3 rumors. Now, according to DigiTimes, Apple is planning on launching the iPad 3 in March of next year, not in around the Christmas time as many people speculated. According to them, the device really isn't that big of an update. It's going to be thinner. It's going to have a better battery. But other than that, it's going to be basically the same. There's no mention of a higher resolution screen, even though a lot of people assume that the iPad will get the Retina display eventually. As Cam points out in the article, there's no way there will be two iPads launched in the same year. It just won't happen. So don't expect the iPad 3 or 2S or whatever they're going to call it until next year. Hopefully when we do get it, it has more improvements other than thinner and better battery. Though, judging by the change between the 4 and the 4S, it's a distinct possibility that that is all we will get. Wow, I said I'd end on a cheery note, and that was not cheery at all. I apologize. Okay, well, that is all the big news for this week, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, definitely keep in mind the links to all of these stories I talked about in this video are in the description down below, so you can go check those out. And uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, talk about the iPhone 4S, the battery issues, or really anything at all, uh, feel free to do so at twitter.com slash tip underscore jake. I try to respond to everybody that tweets me, so if you have something to say, the best place to do it is there. And, as always, for more news, views, and reviews, definitely check out today's iPhone.com. Did you see my sad battery? I drew it. I drew that. Okay.
Hey, what's going on guys? I am Jake from todaysiphone.com and believe it or not, that is not my last name. What do I want to say in this intro? I don't know. Let's talk about it. That did not sound good. Not at all.